Welcome back to Studio 33 Art by K. Today I'm going to be doing a 30 centimeter by 60 centimeter ceramic tile to make a table centerpiece. I'm going to use similar colors to what I used um, the other day uh, with coastal colors like beachy scene. And I'm going to endeavor to create like um, the beach, which I'll use gold and silver. And then I'm going to be using all the nice aqua and blue and greeny uh, turquoisey colors. And I'm going to swipe using the um, Montmartre Titanium White Cell Activator. And I'm also going to use up the um, Amsterdam Titanium White Cell Activator as well, which I mixed up the other day. Um, so one thing I keep forgetting to mention is to always make sure that your um, artwork, whether it be a canvas or a tile, is level. So you just need to use one of these levels that you can pick up at any hardware store um, and make sure it's level. Otherwise, if you leave it in that position to dry, when you come back, if it's not level, what you left is not going to be there when you come back. It'll be lying on the table. Um, so it can be very disappointing if you've created something beautiful and um, it's ruined because you weren't level. So that was just one thing I wanted to mention. Um, so I'm just going to lay down a base coat now. I've cleaned this tile off with uh, isopropyl alcohol before I've started, just with a paper towel. And I'm now going to lay down a base, which is just a mixture I've made up of the um, Araldo Di Paolo, the white mixed with um, metallic ice gold and silver cloud. And that's just because I had some of that already mixed up. So I'm um, just gonna put a base today underneath my drizzle, um, just because it's a big piece and I don't want to put too much colored paint on there. So uh, that's the only reason why really, you don't have to put a base down when you do a drizzle swipe. Um, but um, as I say today I'm going to because it's such a big piece and I don't want to use up too much of the coloured paints so I'd rather put down a, a plain base. All right so I'm just going to put this down on here now um, and then I'll come back in a moment. Okay well here we are back again and unfortunately I just realised that I was videoing away and I had the video camera on the wrong way round so none of that videoed. So I'll catch you up. I've laid my base coat down. I've then put the gold, which was the light gold by Araldo, then the metallic silvery by Araldo. I've then placed all these colors on here and um, I'll put all of those in the description box, which you get to by uh, clicking on the description of this video, unless you're on a smart TV when it won't take you there. So you will need to do that on your device. Um, I've then loaded up a large spatula here with the Titanium White by uh, Montmartre and also the Titanium White by Amsterdam as cell activators. They were made up one to four with Australian Flow Troll. I've done the first swipe and now I'm going to do another swipe. So now that you can see me doing this, what a shame. Rookie mistake, always check. Oops, now that's... Mr. Patch up there for some reason. I'm not pressing down correctly. Okay, it's not going to matter too much. I'll fix that up. Right, so I'll just go and wipe this. Just missed a little bit there. I'll fix that up with a card at the end um, just to fix that up. So now I'm just going to put some more paint on here. I know I'm out of uh, view. Sorry about that. Um, so that was a bit of a waste of <laughs> chatting away to you all, telling you all sorts of stories and then discovered that I had the video around the wrong way. So that's okay. We'll just make a bit of a shorter video. So I'm just putting the Montmartre Titanium White Cell Activator onto the spatula with the uh, Amsterdam Titanium White. 
And now you want to, when you're swiping this, just to swipe it very lightly if you can. Um, these offset spatulas are quite good. I need to make sure I start right on the edge. And then just very gently swiping down. Now it looks like I've had some paint still on there from before, which has put a blue line through there. Which isn't really what I was after, but that's okay. And then off. And I'll, at the end, I'll uh, make sure I fix up the edges. Although I can put a bit of paint on there now. I'm going along. So I need to make sure that those colors are completely wiped off, um, which obviously I didn't do. Hopefully I haven't got any on there this time. Make sure I've wiped that off. Um, I think they'll be okay. By the time I do my little um, kisses on here, you probably won't notice that too much anyway. So you just have to be a little bit careful. And now I'll just put some more Cell Activator on here. It's a much nicer day here today than it was yesterday. And it was very windy. And I'd just like to do a little shout out to um, two of my grand sons. I've got five grandchildren, four of which are little boys and one little girl. And two of them are in lockdown at the moment doing homeschooling. And I know they've been watching my videos. So I just want to say a shout out to Ashton and Callum. Hope you've been getting on well with your homeschooling and working very hard. I'm sure you have been. So now I'm just about to put this last one on here. So again, try and hold it as lightly as you can. And then just gently dragging down. Sometimes it will miss a little bit, which it has just slightly. It's a bit of a knack to getting it just right. You don't want to press too hard and drag the paint off completely. Uh, but if you press too lightly, then you'll miss it all together. So, okay. Now, I'm not worried about missing just that little bit there. This piece here, I might just do a little bit with a, um, a playing card. So those cells are coming up really nicely. I think this is going to look really good. So I'll just do that little bit of a swipe there. Just to fill that in a bit, because I missed a little bit there. And over to there. You don't really want to go over anything again if you can help it. All right, I'll just leave that like that. And those little bits there, I think they'll be all right, hopefully. Might just swipe that backwards a little bit just to um, just get a bit of card. Always a bit of trial and error. Just try and drag that off a little bit without wrecking everything too much. Yeah, I got rid of most of that. Okay, and there's a little bit there. Just drag that off. I'll just be able to get that off with my finger. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I'm just going to now hit it with the heat embossing tool just to um, bring up the cells and burst any bubbles. Okay, so that's a really nice swipe so far. Um, the only thing I'm thinking, because this is a bigger piece and I've learnt now today, I could have um, put more or had the colours coming from probably three quarters of the way up because it's such a big space between here and here. Um, the top colours didn't cover over the bottom, whereas when I'm doing them on a small tile, 
the colors that you have at the top because they don't have very far to go so maybe 10 centimeters maybe 15 centimeters um, you know which is only this far you can see if I had a tile that big those colors would have dragged over the top of what was underneath but because I've used such a big tile they've only come down the, the 10 or 15 centimeters um, so that's something to learn so now through the middle there I'm feeling like because there's that bit of a gap um, I think I'd like to do something in there just to fill in that gap a little bit probably not too much I'm going to do a bit of a um, wreck through this anyway so I'm just going to use the bamboo chopstick and the pointy end I'm just going to do a few little wrecking lines um, I want to do a different pattern to normal so I'm just going to start I think about here just going to drag that through like that always make sure you wipe your skewer off between each drag drag through here <laughs> Well, I'm not sure I particularly like what I've done there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a um, balloon and I'm going to actually do a balloon swipe through there. So don't go away. I'll be back in a sec. So what I've done is I've just blown up a balloon. I haven't made it too big. And I'm just going to bring it through and I'm actually going to create a bit of a wave there. Okay, so if it doesn't work out, then you won't be seeing this video. If it does, then you will. Okie doke, here we go. Just do this one a bit lighter. Bring the wave down, pressing there. I actually did a huge canvas um, last year, which was about two meters by one meter. And um, it turned out terrible. And I thought, what am I going to do? I've got all that paint on there. And so I got a balloon and I actually ran it through and did something similar to this um, and made this beautiful wave. And it's on the wall in our um, media room actually now. And it just turned out so good. So. If something's not going right, just try something else on it and just see what happens. I'm loving those colours blending together there. Really nice. And this is all like white water and where the cells are still in there, that's just exactly like what the water is, isn't it? When you get that foaming on the water. So I'll just do a little bit through here and try and keep some of the that going there as well. So then we haven't totally lost our um, cells here. You know, like I've got bits of paper and tissue everywhere where I'm wiping things. I never feel like I've got enough hands. Okay, so I'm going to bring this around here and try and keep some of the um, cells in there as well. So I'm not trying not to go completely over all of that. Try and keep some just on the corner there. There we go. Okay. Just a little bit in here. I think I'd like to get a smaller balloon actually. I've got my old one from the other day. It's drawn a bit flat now, but that will do perfectly. I'll just bring some of this colour up from here. I can see better what I'm doing with the smaller one. There we go. I need to tidy this guy up here a bit too. Just very lightly touching down now. And I'll fix up where that's gone off there in a minute. And bring a little bit more in from here. Try and leave some of the cells in there. Don't want to get rid of all that whitewash. Okay, well that's going quite nicely. Oops, we've had someone die in there already. 
Thank you, Mr. Insect. It's when you call it multimedia. Okay. Well, I'm quite loving that. And that's sort of the wave crashing onto the beach. There's the sand. And I need to do something with that little bit there. With a small wipe just through there. Let's bring it around. I'm loving how all those colours are melding together and how I've got the cells here. Very deliberate, of course not right so i don't think i should do anything with that up the top and those cells look lovely try and bring it from around here just very lightly so as not to make too much of a groove in it all oops be careful taking it off And then I think I'll just get a straw and do some um, blowing out just to create a few little wispy bits. Excuse my head. Because I could turn that around since I've got it on a turntable. Okay, well, I'm not sure I'm loving this piece, but that's okay. But I do love how I've done the cells there and how they've come through from the swipe, um, which looks great. I think. So we might leave that there then, guys. Um, and I'd love to know what you think of it. And I'll bring you down for a close-up. Okay, so here we are in close-up. I've just done a little bit more fiddling since um, we were here a moment ago. But I think it's turned out quite well. I'm loving how the cells that we did with the swipe are there in amongst the water. Really makes it look like foam in water in the ocean. And the colours have just blended together so well. And I'm loving how all the um, cells have been continuing to come up almost like pearls actually. Um, the reaction between the base paint and the metallic colours and then of course the cell activators on top. So there it is, the finished product. I'm sure someone will love that as a table centrepiece and um, I'll have another go at the um, swipe. Okay, speak to you soon guys. Bye! <music>